Hi everyone, welcome to Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea. This week's theme is faraway places. As you might know, Sweet Pea is based down under in Australia. Aussies are well known for traveling all around the world and a lot of our designs have been inspired by our travels overseas. So we're gonna show you some of them this week. Later on, we'll have Martin talking about a design that's been released. Um, it's based on a place that's close to his heart. We've got um, some of our girls who work with us coming in and they're gonna be modeling our jackets that have been embroidered with some of our great designs. And then later on, James will be here too and he's going to be announcing last week's winners from the Sweet Pea competition and announcing the new details for this week's competition. Stay tuned. <laughs> It's great to be back on another episode of Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea. If you're new to the show, my name is James. Thank you so much for tuning in. This week's theme is faraway places. So I'd like to start off by saying hello to all our Sweet Pea friends around the world. It's great to have you here. On that note, I want to start the announcements for this week's episode. Last week, I set a comment competition, comment your favorite Sweet Pea Essentials item and a few words why. We got over 50 comments, which is just crazy, and I thank you so much for entering. So I was having a read through them this morning to pick out my favorite one, and one really caught my eye. By the way, there were so many good ones, but unfortunately I could only pick one. The comment that I landed on was from Dizey Blue, and it read as, Love the rainbow colored zips as they add an extra dimension to projects. I chose your comment, Dizey, because I totally agree. I love our Sweet Pea zippers. They make all our designs look so professional, bright, and they are easy to use on an embroidery machine. Thank you for your comments. Dizey, please email sweetpeacompetitions at gmail.com so we can organize sending out your two corks of your choosing. So that's any of two corks from our Sweet Pea Essentials range and we'll get that sent out to you as soon as we can. Also, to any viewers that haven't checked out our Sweet Pea Essentials range, go do so now. We've got plenty more beautiful corks like this, fabric, threads, scissors, lots of different things that you can use on your embroidery designs. So that's on Sweet Pea, that's on SweetPea.com, S-W-P-E-A.com, go have a look at that. On this episode, we're running a similar competition. In line with the theme of faraway places, I want you to comment in the comment section below somewhere in the world you would like Sweet Pea to come and visit and why. Also, just a little bonus thing added onto that, make sure you like the video as well. So you have to like and comment to be in the running for this week's competition. Well, that's how to enter the competition, but you're probably wondering what the prizes are gonna be this week. This week, we're giving away three items from the Sweet Pea Essentials range to my favorite comment. That's three items. They are one hot iron ruler, one pink thing, and one set of jaws. So that's three things from the Sweet Pea Essentials range. These two are one of our most popular items from the Sweet Pea Essentials range. So they're gonna be going to someone next episode. All you have to do is like the video and comment somewhere in the world you would like Sweet Pea to come and visit. Moving on to our other weekly competition, James's Wheel of Names. To enter the very popular James's Wheel of Names and be in the running for a $20 gift voucher to use on the Sweet Pea store, you have to find the four faraway place theme designs hidden throughout the video. Once you have found the four mystery designs, email sweetpeacompetitions at gmail.com with the answers and your name. It's that easy to get your name on James's Wheel of Names. 
It costs you no money to enter. All you have to do is watch the whole episode of Sweet Talk. That's all I have for you now, but I'll be back later to announce the winners of James's Wheel of Names from last episode. So stay tuned for that. Take it away, Annette and Allison. Hi everyone, I'm Alison and I'm joining Annette now to have a look at some of our designs from mm -hmm. far away and also a couple of our recent new releases. So some of these are older designs and some of them are very recent. Yeah. So do you want to start with some of the older ones? Older ones, had? yeah, sure. Okay, so one of our old designs, in fact this was probably four or five years ago maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a bag with the word Africa. Uh, we wanted to make something African because our beautiful Emma who is one of our designers, is actually born in South Africa. So we did this one for her. Yes, yeah, just the absolutely beautiful gorgeous. colours are inspired by her childhood memories. I forgot how beautiful it was actually yeah. until we got it out. Like this yeah. head wrap and everything looks absolutely gorgeous in yeah. real life. So that's, that's that one. one. And then another one, which may have even been before the African one. Yeah, these, these are both really old bags, mm -hmm. aren't they? There's our Bonjour bag. And it's probably hard to see. That word there says bonjour, and this bag has a pocket at the front. Oops, in there, in there. So you can put your phone, your keys, anything like that to keep it handy. And oops. So this bag, Alison, has just been recently remade because of we've because remade it's an and older updated one. the instructions, instructions yeah. to our new standards and taking all new photos and everything because now we have proper lighting and everything yeah. else it makes a big difference so so we are working our way through the older designs yeah, so that's something both been updated. french yes. that one um so we've got something we, we did talk about this last week but we'll talk about it again because it's on sale mm -hmm. this weekend so it's 50 percent off this is our beautiful beauty blocks quilt which has been inspired by the statue of liberty in new york yeah. so this is a very well known quilt design isn't it the yeah. beauty block um, everybody has done it, but it's so easy to do in the hoop on an embroidery machine. Yeah. Isn't it yeah. <laughs> so this is 50% off this weekend. So if you add this design to your cart, it will automatically be reduced the 50%. There's so much you can do with it too. Yeah. Uh, the traditional way to do the beauty block is to not have full circles, mm. but you could actually make a full circle and even make it into a round cushion yeah. or, or anything really. Um, and a lot of them are made with really bright colours. Yeah. So this one, we've got a bit of our cork in it. Uh, some batik, well actually they're all different corks. And so batiks and marble type fabric. And So some of their very creative cool. customers have made um, big wall, they like, they're yeah. like art pieces and yeah. they've actually had them framed. So if you look on the website, That's if you look right. up our beauty block quilt, you'll see um, and all our products have a gallery yeah. and we start with our photos and then after that we have the customer photos yeah. and we try to put as many on there as possible. So if you actually enter project of the week on the Facebook group, you actually give us permission at the same time to put your photo on the website and we love being able to do that because it's so inspiring for everyone. It is, yeah. Okay, so there's that one. This one has just been released. This is our New Zealand table runner. We've been meaning to do something for the Kiwis for which years, is, which is our neighbour. So yeah. in Australia, Australia and New Zealand, Kiwi, uh, the people from New Zealand who we affectionately call the Kiwis, um, we, we've done everything together. We've gone to war together. Yeah. It's only like a three-hour plane flight, really, across the water. That's right. So and when they're competing in football or anything, it's like we're mortal enemies. Yeah. So <laughs> fires everyone up, but basically we really are friendly neighbours. Yeah. So. so this has been all inspired by images that um, people from New Zealand would be very familiar with. Martin's made it up with his um, own collection of That's Kiwiana right. fabrics. There's, he there's calls it. alternating blocks here. They're not uh, embroidery or applique or anything. They're actually a, a New Zealand fabric that he's had in his the collection. Collection, yeah. yeah. So it's all it's these blocks here and they're all a combination of embroidery and applique. And yeah. I it comes in a 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, probably 7x7 too actually, so all our usual square sizes. And so Martin might be along later to, to, to talk to everyone oh, about right. this too. Okay, yeah, so we'll leave that one alone now for this one. Now this one I'm very, very, I love it. This was in 2018, Alison and I and Emma and Holly 
we were invited a sweet pea by Brother the uh, in UK to come and tour. We did like we a tour a of all tour. the stores all the way through. So we flew into Glasgow in Scotland and then just north of there in a little town called Aberfeldy. I hope I've got that right. <laughs> it's this wonderful um, craft wool and fibre store that does quilting and everything called Corellia House. Yeah. And we did a we did a show there that day, and we were just inspired by the. And we didn't want to leave. I could have stayed there for a week, just having yeah. a look around and everything they have. And they have a beautiful coffee shop and everything there too. If yes. anyone wants to go and visit, I think a lot of people actually make a little vacation. It's a destination place. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of Airbnbs and it's every a beautiful, beautiful part of the ones. world. Yeah. And th this design was inspired. Emma was with us, and she's our digitizer. She was inspired by the beautiful scenery that you see up there in um, Scotland. Yeah. So the beautiful fields. So we then when Alyssa's sewn it up, she's used a lot of the purples, and the purple is the heather that grows just wild yeah. in the countryside. It's just a beautiful. It's like a low lying shrub, but it has this beautiful um, purple flowers, and yeah. I think they sort of change tones depending. They on... They do because sometimes they're pinky purple yeah, and then yeah. like brighter and everything. So we've got so. that in there. So the design comes with the table runner files, plus you get the uh, matching little mug rug. Mm -hmm. So it can be a wall hanger. It's probably more of a wall hanger than a table runner. You could use it for either. And then the mug rug. And it's then, hard to capture it too, because yeah, actually when thatching. I saw photos of it first and yeah. I thought it was beautiful, but once we see it in real life, yeah. it is really gorgeous. The thatching on this is just amazing. Can you get that on the, the film there, James? Beautiful. And I just uh, mentioned too, this table runner has our easy version of binding on it. James might want to get a close up of that too. And what we've done on this one is we've actually used our backing as the binding and it's my favourite method of doing binding. Normal binding, you add it on after you've backed it and it's a separate piece. But with this binding, all you have to do is basically fold it over to the front and then stitch it down and we show you in the instructions how to do the corners. And it's just an amazing easy way of doing binding. So and who that's how we've who done doesn't that like one. an easy way? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so with these beautiful colours, the, the purples in it, I just wanted to show you all um, the threads that we use. So this is from our um, purple range. Yeah. We used a lot of. So here, James, if you want to get that one, we've taken the plastic off them so you can see the, yeah, they do look the beautiful sheen in there. So yeah, they had the beautiful shine to them, these threads. And then we have used um, some pinks out of our, I think that was out of this one, Alison. The Vintage Rose, I think yeah, that was probably that, that colour in there, there. too. Yeah. So we have different sets. Yes, I'll let that. Okay, so that's that one. Where else have we been, Alison? I think uh, that's probably... We've what? been on trips washing our faces. <laughs> so we're kind of getting away from faraway places now. We're, getting, we're leading into this week's new releases. <laughs> yes, I think so. We do have a lot more designs on the website, but yeah. we don't want to go on for too long. Uh, so actually there's some sections on the website that are under country names. Yeah. So you can actually put your country in the search bar and see what we have. Yeah. We have we, some Canadian we, yeah, ones, design. a UK bag and a US bag. Yep. Um, some stars and stripes. Got some German Oktoberfest. Yeah, Mugrums. German Oktoberfest. Yeah. So we are trying to cover as many countries as we can. I mean, there's just so many. In the we we'll eventually, we'll eventually get around to doing different things <laughs> yeah. in the countries. Yeah. So this is um, our latest release, one of our latest releases. They're our reusable cleaning sponges. Mm -hmm. So they can be made in a 4x4 four four or a 5x7 hoop. They're made in one hooping with just a small amount of hand um, stitching to close. So we've used our mesh on the front and just a toweling fabric that we had. On the back you could even cut an old bath towel up if you wanted to. You yeah. don't have to buy new towel. We toweling. did actually use an old yeah. towel. Yeah. And in the instructions we give you a couple of choices. Inside this we have three layers of toweling which gives us this high effect. Yeah. Uh, but we also say in there that you could use two layers of batting and toweling on the back if mm. you like. Or you could just have batting inside and fabric but this just gives you another yeah. softer washing surface yeah. and then this one's a mm. great for like scrubbing. It's, it's actually amazing. It looks good doesn't it? Yeah. So actually because when you actually open it, when you look at these um, meshes, mm -hmm. and I don't know if I've got any open. No. They're very soft. Oh, yes I do. Hold on. I'm going to get some. They're very very soft but then when they're stitched down in this, 
with all of the quilting on that's it, right. it goes stiff front, doesn't yeah, it? Great. So this is like the green that's on the pink. Mm. They're very soft. They are. Oh, that's, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So you could use that in clothing. We've actually used it in a bag, which... And of course, as quilting. everything with Sweet Pea, it's just pretty yeah. to have out. So that looks much better in your kitchen. Than, well, you can colour and, coordinate it to your bathroom. Like if you've got bathroom accessories or yep. kitchen accessories. And they're environmentally friendly because you're not... Uh, yep. constantly throwing out your scourers and and our mesh comes in seven colors so we've got uh, the pink green a white beautiful orange which is my favorite color black blue Sion. and there's a purple that i just don't have the pack of no yeah so there's seven different colors for that Gorgeous. So you, lots and lots of uses with this fabric mesh. I think it's something that you just like to have on hand for anything, you know, yeah. like when you want to put a pocket in something or these wipes. Yep. Also this week we've released our little doggy purse. Yes, it's, I'm moving it over the way so you can see that. This is a big sneak peek because this bag isn't going to be released <laughs> next week. But no. I and I think we've to, already featured it before too. We did, so. but I just wanted to show the clasp on this little doggy purse. So this has just been released on the website. It's perfect for putting your little um, doggy do bags in, whatever you mm -hmm. call them. So I've got a little clip that you put your roll in, and then you can either have it attached to your bag, or you could put it onto your belt your loop. belt loop on your jeans. And so much easier than trying to find it in a pocket. Yeah. So these are special little deal. These ones. These are um, one dollar US or a dollar fifty Australian. Yep. Just because of the conversion rate. Yes. That's very cute. It is cute. So get that's the I just discovered something in here. It's got another secret strap inside to hook onto your dog. We'll be talking about that next <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all we've got for you. Um, James will be in soon, and so will Martin, and we're going to have our little um, modelling session Ooh. with the girls modelling our jackets. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Kia ora katoa. I'm here to introduce you to our new hanger or a table runner which is a New Zealand flora and fauna um, runner. So it's typically New Zealand fabrics which are from Nutex. So Nutex is a New Zealand company um, which does Kiwiana and Australiana. Uh, fabrics and so we here we have some uh, some fill fabrics and also some embroidery so we've got our kiwi and we have our uh, pahutakawa our, our native what we call our Christmas tree and we've got our fantail this one's called the kofi and then we have our tui which is our parson bird so it's a, a tribute to uh, New Zealand's well flora and fauna and um, very happy with its traditional hues and colours, so enjoy. Welcome back to James's Wheel of Names. This is the part of Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea where we give three lucky viewers a chance to win a $20 gift voucher to use on the Sweet Pea store. For any viewers that haven't checked out our website yet, Go over there now at swpea.com and see our beautiful range of machine embroidery designs and machine embroidery and sewing essentials. We had over 50 entries into this week's draw, which is absolutely amazing and I am truly grateful. To be entered into this draw, you had to found the three mystery Sweet Pea Essentials items that were scattered through the last episode of Sweet Talk. They were as followed. Professional 9 inch tailor scissors, that pink thing, and Myla. And I'm super happy to say that everyone got all three right and you're all entered into this week's draw. So well done. And before we get started, remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It really helps us grow this channel and Sweet Talk with Sweet Pea. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to go to the wheel of names now. For anyone new watching this, this is just a, a, a website on Google where you input names and it randomly generates them for you. So I don't know who's going to be the winner before I click this, you're watching it live with me. So I'm going to get the first click underway. 
Have your fingers crossed and hopefully your name gets called out. The first lady is Jan Coates. Congratulations, Jan. Enjoy that $20 voucher and hopefully you pick up some beautiful designs on the Sweet Pea website. Remember, if you guys win the voucher and you get some designs, we really want to see you post those photos of your finished work. We love seeing that here at Sweet Pea. So I'm going to start my second click now. My heart rate is truly up and I'm so excited to find out our second winner of this week's competition. And the lady is... Debra Steed, congratulations Debra, you've also won $20. Wonder what you're gonna buy. Enjoy that. And finally, last but not least, the third click. We have, oh it's a close one, Nicola Walker. Nicola Walker, you are also the winner of a $20 gift voucher. Congratulations ladies. And thank you so much for anyone who entered this episode's competition. James's Wheel of Names will be back next week. To enter that draw, you have to find the four mystery, faraway place designs hidden throughout this episode of Sweet Talk. Remember our bonus comment competition. Make sure you're leaving your comments and liking this video. That's it for me this week. I had heaps of fun as always. I can't wait to see you on the next episode of Sweet Talk with Sweet Pete. Have a great week and get lots of sewing in. Before I forget, I want to invite all of our Australian customers to come and visit us at the Sydney Craft and Quilt Fair yes. <laughs> in um, June 30 to July 4. I believe that the organisers have a 20% flash sale actually on those tickets till Sunday this weekend. So yes. that's for our Australian... Few of us are going to be there and, and I and a couple of, of other Sweet Pea yeah. staff. We're going to take a semi-trailer and take it down with all of our stock. We'll be selling all our essentials so it'll be a perfect time for you to come and buy some and not have to pay for postage or yeah. anything and, 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 just, and actually and touch just see and things feel close it. up and everything like that. Yeah, so we'll be really excited to see some of you there. Thank you.